Hi Muskan, uh, thanks for joining us. How are you doing? Thanks, Avish. I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. So, uh, Muskan, can you tell us a little bit about your about your background, uh, about how you zeroed in on this particular career path? So, after uh, completing my MBA, specialized in uh, human resource in uh, year 2020. I had various options in front of me, like to go for HR operations or rec as a recruiter. But somehow one day I got a call from Fusion Practices recruiting team and they offered me this role of a human resource uh, HCM consultant. Uh, and the role was like, and when, when they t told me about the role, it was like in Oracle Cloud Consulting and uh, latest HCM technologies I would be working on. I would be working with various clients across the con different countries. And that role excited me so well that I, in a moment of seconds, I said yes to that role. And after going through the process of uh, the hiring process, I got hired from Fusion Practices Limited. And then I was enrolled in a few training courses delivered from apps to fusion and i i learned from those self-paced uh, courses like uh, absence management global hr or uh, uh, glo uh, goals and performance within the tenure of 12 to 14 months i was able to learn around five to six modules which i believe is a like good amount of uh, modules i learned from that so that's how i started my career in uh, this this uh, hcm technology Oracle Cloud Consulting. That that sounds interesting. So we we speak to a lot of uh, freshers, right? Freshers and graduates who are looking to embark on a similar career path, but they don't necessarily know where to start. Uh, and so what uh, we'll be asking you some questions uh, which they have in mind, right? So can you tell us uh, what a typical day uh, in the life of an HCM consultant looks like? So. A day in my life would be like uh, currently I'm having a client facing role. So in day to day routine, I, I have calls scheduled with the client and wherein we gather the information from the clients about their requirements. We analyze the requirements. We calculate the time, how much time we need to develop those uh, requirements, deploy those requirements, how much time the testing will take. So yes, uh, analyzing of information, analyzing of requirements, reporting, report making, with, which I would say and uh, delivering deployment integration testing. So these are some of the activities which which uh, HCM consultant uh, involve themselves in. Correct. And uh, you know uh, when we speak uh, to our students, uh, see we know like there are a lot of perks uh, to a job like this. Uh, you get to travel, you get to probably work abroad, you get to work in different teams, lead projects. So. Uh, uh, who who can who else can be uh, sort of an HCM consultant? Who else can look at this uh, as a viable career option for them? So uh, anyone, anyone like currently who are currently working as uh, as a as a HR in any private sector or public sector or having background education background as uh, specializing in human resource whether they are masters or graduation, they can choose their career into HCM consulting field and having relevant or particular upskilling into this domain would be uh, would be the desired one, I would say, like having some upskilling knowledge to training sessions or video lectures, workshops. That would be great. They can kickstart their career having those knowledge, the concepts, the concept clarity, the knowledge of terminologies. Yeah. Great, great. That's good to know. So everyone has a has a sort of chance to take this career path with uh, with the uh, core background as well as upskilling wherever necessary, right? So uh, our last question to you would be uh, if if you were to give advice to someone who's pursuing uh, say a career in HR, someone who's graduating right now, who has just graduated, what are the core skills that they need to have? Uh, the prerequisites for a job like this. And uh, where should they uh, look to upskill? What are the particular skills that they should look at considering the scenario today? So uh, based on my personal experience, the top most three skills I would say is the, the first one is the communication skill. Reason being our clients are across the world. 
state uae uk us canada so clients are sitting everywhere in the world and we have to have a very good communication skill in order to communicate the things various things with them and uh, so this is the first thing and second is analyzing so if we are very good at analysis if we are very good at uh, going to root cause of this uh, problem so that would be second best skill which one can have and the third skill is the concept clarity one must have the concept clarity they must be aware of the hr process how the various hr process like talent acquisition talent development onboarding absence management works so if someone is having this knowledge then we are good to go all right that sounds wonderful uh, so muskan uh, one thing that uh, a lot of people have uh, a doubt in their heads about is uh, uh, i'm not from it background i've done my bcom uh, and then i've uh, done my mba uh, how will i be able to work in an it company will will a job like that uh, will i be able to do a job like that uh, what would be your advice to them uh so even i have got various questions related to this uh, from my linkedin connections and uh, my answer was all, always the same like i did my graduation in bcom honors i took commerce as my uh, commerce as my education background and now currently i'm sitting in it company i'm doing sql queries i'm doing fast formula it was it is pretty easy it, it is uh, very easy for me after going through the training sessions after going through the video lectures so hence i was able to do that wonderful uh thanks for your time muskan it was great having you here at absolute fusion and all the best thanks a lot it was great talking to you